<laughs> That's what that plant reminded me of. Oh man, what is going on? Oh shoot, I need to get the show opened and get the chat open. Let's see here. Whoa. Pop the chat out. Here there we go. go. All right. I've got to do my Insta story. <laughs> Folks, if you're just catching the show right now, we are in pre-show mode uh, at this very moment. And there's going to be show notes posted down below if you're watching this after the show has been shown. And you can go in and find out exactly where we, what and where we talked about stuff throughout the show. So make sure you check the links or the show notes down below. Right now we're in pre-show. Monday Live, Monday Live, Monday Live. Come join us on Monday Live. This guy's channel right here. <laughs> Gabby Cash, your music. What's up? How's it going? Someone, someone make us some uh, tunes. Let's see. Elder Quinto. Chris Barr, I'm getting hot pixels on long exposures doing time lapse on my A7 III. Anyone else experiencing this issue? Haven't had that happen to. I, I don't. I was using an A7 and R3 the other day, so I didn't, I didn't catch that. Travis Ellison, what will you guys be talking about? Amazon Prime. You know, I have been so oblivious to the Amazon Prime stuff that's going on. I just know that there's a really good deal on lighting equipment right now. Um, and I'm kind of bummed because I bought my lighting equipment like a week before, and now there's like a thirty dollars off on the the Flashpoint eighty two hundreds, I guess. So that's actually a pretty good deal right now for those. So um, that's going around. Helder Quintal, uh, hello there from Portugal. Hi, man. A thirteen dilemma. What's going on? A uh, Chris yeah, Arnold. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to um, I was trying to browse Amazon Prime, but it kept it kept giving me a error screen it's like sorry search is not working right now i'm like guess i'm not shopping today yeah yeah my brother was saying that he was trying to check out stuff but it was having issues so i don't know if anyone else is having issues with um with amazon prime day i mean is, or is amazon prime day just today or is it throughout the week because I, I, I have no idea i am so out of the loop you know i just got back today i'm just like what's going on what's what's good uh, I don't know if there's anything of anything to get. The cranes, the Zoom cranes, they're at a pretty good deal right now. They're about 20, 10 to 20% off, depending on which model you're looking at. 20% mm. off for, I believe, the crane two and the crane plus. So pretty smoking hot deal for those uh for those oh. right there. Gabby's saying it's today only, I think. <laughs> oh, I will. That would make sense if it's Amazon Prime Day. <laughs> My pretty cool stuff for Prime Day. I remember, I remember uh, Amazon. They used they they have like a. I don't know. If they still do. If someone can like let me know, but was it twenty percent off Amazon warehouse stuff? So like all the used stuff get discounted even more. So those those are epic, man. Those yeah. are epic. That's how I got my RX one hundred Mark Four, which I don't use anymore. But I mean, those were good times. Yeah, there was like a twenty four to seventy G Master at sixteen hundred dollars. Fire <sighs> deal. So fire. risky. So risky. I don't know, man. You're you're playing with fire, man. Let's see, uh, Mike Homer from Homer from Boulder, Colorado. What is up? Um, Vincent Vega is in the house. What is up, man? What is up? <laughs> it's awesome seeing you this weekend in San Diego. And thank you for being such a gracious host at the store. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> uh, 13 Dilemma says, your shirts are hilarious. Oh, oh, so glad you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't notice these awesome shirts by our good buddy Chris Vernal, man. Hooked us up with some shirts here. So the question is, we'll talk about it later when the show's officially going. Which team are you on? APSC is dead or APSC is not dead? Which team are you on? <laughs> this, this feels like a very weird thing I'm doing right now. So we'll, we'll keep it PG thirteen. That was that was that's kind of weird, guys. <laughs> Again, folks, if you're just catching us right now, we are in pre-show mode. The actual official show will start in about 10 minutes. We'll try to mingle with the chat right now. We'll see if we can catch any questions, if you have any in the comments. 
um, at this very moment, but we'll officially start in about 10 minutes. So what can people expect besides APSC being dead? Dead AF. <laughs> Simon PR, I just got A73 and Pro Support. Awesome. Take advantage of testing out lenses. It's going to be uh, very valuable. I have to send my A9 back tomorrow. It's here. Your A9, Jason? I, 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 oh, it might as well be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so how has it been with the A9, just having it for, you know, a couple weeks? You know what? I haven't really shot anything else besides the time that I had to use it for a concert. Yeah. But damn, that A9, though. So <laughs> good. So good. Oh, man. It, I want to buy it. I think I had an opportunity to buy it for, like, about $3,000. I wasn't yeah. sure that was a good price. That's a good price now. I mean. Yeah. Had an opportunity, brand new, $3,000. But I was just like, I don't need it. it I, I, it's it's not very often I get, like, you know, a job that I need an A9 for. Yeah. If I did more wedding photography, definitely, definitely would pick one up. It just makes you so spoiled with that camera. Yeah, I'm just like, how have I been shooting photos on the A7 III? It's ridiculous. So you get the A9, and then you get the 400 f2.8, just because. Oh, just, my. Just shoot all your videos with the 400 f2.8. Just get a long, well, uh, like, an entire, like, warehouse to film your shoots. And then <laughs> be 400 f2.8. <laughs> well, what got me thinking was, man, if, if there is an A9R... I'm so getting it. I, I'm I'm trying to edit some of the photos that we've taken at, at Anime Expo a couple weeks ago. And I'm just like, I'm cropping in so much. And I'm just like, how come I'm not getting the same quality I'm used to getting? And I realized, I was like, crap, we're shooting A9 and A7 III. And I'm just like, oh, man, I really miss those 42 megapixels, man. They just, I've just been too baited by it. Yeah, see, that's the issue, right? You're kind of in between both worlds. You want the speed and performance of the A9, but you want the megapixel performance of the A7R2 or 3. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason why sometimes I'll I'll shoot with the A7R3 instead of the A9 when I'm like, I really want some resolution in my photos, even oh, yeah. though most of the times it won't matter. But uh, it's just, you get so addicted to the megapixels. And, and I know a lot of folks are always asking, should I get A7R3 or A7R3? And it's always, you know, go with if you if you've already owned the A7R2, it's really hard to go to downsize back to four, 24 megapixels. It is. It's um, a, the struggle is real. Like, yeah, yeah. I have so many questions about that over the weekend too. And I was like, you've never shot 42 megapixels. Just stay with the A7 III. I mean, go for the A7 III. Yeah, yeah. Once you're spoiled, though, it's it's so difficult. Um, but it looks like actually the interesting thing, uh, they've confirmed more information. So so I think for the Canon, for the confirmed Canon camera that's mirrorless, it's going to be 30 megapixels. So similar to the 5D Mark IV. So that's what it looks like Canon's bringing to the table. Um, and yeah, we'll just wait and see about what Canon does. That's, that's a whole different situation. But uh, let's see. 13th Dilemma. Jason, can Crane Plus handle 35 Zeiss 1.4 with A7 III? I mean, it can, but you're, you're going to get better stability with the Crane 2. Casper, 7 24. Last year, I got my 24-70 G Master open box, 1465. Damn, that's a good deal. That, that is a good deal. Is that with tax rate and everything, or was it just the base price? It's pretty good. Vince Vega, I'm going to ask Chris to make sure it's for me and him, saying good F and bad MF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, man. That's pretty funny. That's I want to get over <laughs> um, dad 42 go blue says, I love my A7R2. <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. How is everybody's weekend? What you guys do over the weekend? Yeah, how is everybody? Um, I just woke up from a nap a couple hours ago, so I'm almost feeling better. Almost feeling better. Danny had some bad case of gas. Yes. Gas. Yes. Went to the doctors today. Prescribed me some gas pills. <laughs> 
Speaking of gas, got one box here. Two box here. Three box here. Oh, what the heck? We're flexing. Man, I got boxes too, man. Oh, God. Okay, I made one. I made one cart order on b &H, and they haven't sent it to me via three boxes, which is ridiculous. It's the most efficient. It's the most efficient there for you. <laughs> okay. I kind of forgot what I ordered. But guess what came back? This guy right here. What? Is that from B&H? That's from B&H. Got the loaner back again. Tamron 20 to 75. Nice. They did not update the lens, so I'm having the autofocus issue with this. So I'm going to grab some footage of this having the autofocus issue, and then I'm going to update it and then see if, it, if it's any better. All right, cool. Forrest is saying, getting ready to move from L.A. to Austin. Lots of work over the weekend. Oh, oh wow. God. Are we they losing? Move. Are we losing some another person to Texas? <laughs> what you doing out there? Is it just is because is it because of work? That's why you're moving out to Austin. He's moving because Francisco Joel Hernandez have a uh, photo workshop out there. In Austin. Oh. Smart move. <laughs> Jason, I'm well. Went out shooting. Went to the office. Bought the MacBook Pro. Girlfriend left me again. Then went to see Ant Man and the Wasp. Productive weekend. <laughs> Because girlfriend leaving us is a productive weekend. <laughs> Vincent Vega, don't open it. Drive Vivian crazy. Don't open the box. <laughs> well, I want to open it. I'm kind of curious what's inside. Because we're going to do new gear. Hashtag new gear today. And Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I really got anything. Well, we got, we got some cool stuff. So I'll share that during um, hashtag new gear. Trying to fluff up the show because our only topic today is the uh, MVP. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? Nothing. A Thirteen dilemma. Says he went Milky Way shooting. Awesome. We went sunset shooting or long exposure uh, exposure shooting. Yeah, but we no hot pixels you. on our end. What's up? Oh no, because I, I think he brought up the hot pixel thing, right? We don't we didn't have any hot pixel thing with our long exposure. Yeah, I didn't notice anything. Uh but I don't know, or unless you're talking about long, long exposures, right? Because we I was only doing long exposures up to 25 seconds. I don't know if the hot pixels show up when you're doing long exposures for like a minute or more or something like oh, that. Oh, like that like, kind of. like 45 minutes. Yeah, something like that. I'm wondering oh, I remember if our our friend Spencer was talking about it. He was like it's like if you have if you're doing long exposure for like that long, you're really like cooking the sensor inside your camera. That's ah, there you go. We learned something. <laughs> All right, we got about another minute before the show starts, folks. Um, again, if you're just catching the show right now, we're gonna have some show notes down below after the fact. Give and a thumbs up if you are team APSC is dead, and give a thumbs up if your APSC is not dead. <laughs> Please, no thumbs down. No thumbs down, please. <laughs> Two thumbs down if APSC is not dead. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. It's going to cancel it out, man. <laughs> <sighs> oh, snaps. 10 dislikes already. Sorry. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Long live APSC. <laughs> All right, folks, it's 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for joining Jason Vong and I on the Monday live show. I'm your host, that one camera guy. And like I said, I am here with the Vong. Vong, can you say hi to the crowd? Can't go wrong with the Vong, guys. Just can't. That's going to be on a shirt very, very soon. If you want to go in and pick it up, it's $1,000. Okay, there will only be five made. Um, awesome. So to the, <laughs> our show this evening is going to be very, very simple. There is not a lot going on as far as uh, Sony-related news topics other than the RX100 VA being officially posted as pre-order option. Um, and... Uh, we did go to San Diego, Jason and I, and we met up with some other folks. And also Vivian, she came with us as well. And Chris, and then we met Vincent and a whole lot, bunch of other folks there. And we'll go over that today as well, going over the San Diego trip. Uh, but we're also going to talk about the MacBook Pro, the 6-core, 
and we'll go over the story why Jason's going to hate me for the, the rest of my life. And um, <laughs> you should have saw Jason yesterday. Jason was so pissed at me, but you're going to have to stay tuned to find out why Jason hates me. You should have so, put that in the title. Jason oh, won't hate me. <laughs> that why, this is great. the official, the last show. This is the official last show. <laughs> if your team APSC is dead, just follow me onto my channel. APSC is not dead. Just come with me too. Forget Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason's gonna explain why he hates me. Um, I don't blame him. He'll probably hate me for a while. Uh, and then yeah, we'll go over the MacBook Pro, talk a little bit about that, whether you're gonna get it or not, and and some Sony news. But right now, our big topic is gonna be our hashtag new gear. So if you got any new gear this week, last week, or you haven't had a chance to mention it, please go ahead and post it in the live chat below. We'd love to know uh, what you recently picked up, and then um, we'll go from there. I think that's where we'll start off on. Oh, and also, if you do post something, let us know. Hashtag if you are APSC is not dead or AP, hashtag APSC is dead. Let us know which team you're on. We'd love to know. All right. Jason, should I go first? I feel like you have a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, you should go first. Well, are we talking about why I hate you now or when we get into the news topic? Go into the go into it later. Go into okay. it later when we go over the story for Sunday. Oh, you bring it up later. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Some stuff that I recently got. So I saw some other boxes. I just don't have them here with me. But like I said, I got a Sure monopod um, out of Jason's recommendation. So I got that in the carbon fiber one. I picked up a 502 AH Manfrotto fluid head or video fluid head. Um uh, yeah, I got some. Uh, set, I actually got some Manfrotto tripod, like some aluminum ones as well. But some stuff that's in here with me right now. I've got some lenses because obviously APSC is not dead. I went ahead and picked up a few lenses here. This is the 19 millimeter f 2.8. Why did you get that? Um, it came in. You know, the Friday we I left to San Diego. This this is when the stuff came. All my stuff came in. So this is a 19 millimeter f 2.8 for Danny, Sigma. Danny, Danny. Sorry, did you did you read the shirt, man? Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> I gotta I gotta live up to this APSC. <laughs> I'm not dead. So uh, the, the funny thing is, this art series is a little bit older than I think. These came out first before the 30 millimeter f 1.4 and the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4, which is what I'm using right now. And so what I was always fascinated about whether or not these lenses were any good. And so there was a really good deal on eBay when they were having, I think, the 10 to 15% off. And so I went ahead and grabbed these off from Adorama.com. So what's better than having one lens is having a second lens right here. So here's the next one. Here's the 30 millimeter F2.8. Oh, so I picked this one up as well. Interesting, the, fil the filter thread sizes are exactly the same. So that's really nice, it's 46 millimeters. And then finally, to top it off, and what's better than two lenses is three lenses. So here it is, the 60 millimeter f2.8 art. Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny. Jeez, you're killing me here, dude. You're killing me here. Hey, man, where's your full? I'm assuming you have a lot of full frame glass, right? So that's why you're, <laughs> you're repping the APSC is dead, right? So, um, but yeah, I picked these up. I want to go ahead and review them for you guys, those of you that are still on the APSC camp side of things. and taking a look at these lenses. Definitely not trying to forget about the APS-C crowd. Um, so again, if you are team APS-C is not dead, drop a like and let us know in the comments Freaking if you are hashtag APS-C. Flexing, Danny, dude, come <laughs> at some point, of, at some point of my YouTube career, I'm like, I should pick up the 19, the 30, and the 60. And yeah. Oh, oh, you got Danny beating me out of that. I It just happened. It, you know... <laughs> I hate I hate those discounts because you're always like what what do I buy what do I get you know you have this one coupon 10 15 percent off I was lo either looking at getting the the Sony uh, the Sony 18 to 135 I, I really like that kit lens the 18 to 135 after I did my review on it I wanted to get a copy of it but the problem is I already owed I already did a review on it and I'm I have rave reviews about it. I absolutely love it and I am always look and that's the thing as being a, a reviewer or a youtuber we always have to look at getting lenses that we can review so i just went ahead and purchased these lenses um so i would have a copy of them for anyone that's out there that's going to ask hey how good are these lenses i'll have a good um some good use with them so yeah that's for me as far as stuff um yeah and these cool shirts oh from chris 
APC. Hottest merch. Hottest merch day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jason, you're up on the chopping block. Go for it, man. All right, I'll try not to bore you guys too much, but God, we I picked up something from B and H, and we'll definitely have I definitely have more news on why we got these in the near future. Doing some live unboxing right now. I really don't know what this is, Danny. We were talking about this in San Diego, right? Oh yeah. Like we we ordered so much stuff that it got it got to the point where it's just like, what did I order again? Like I came home from San Diego about three hours ago and just like four giant packages just showed up at my door. So obviously the first one is the loaner, the Tamron 2075 loaner that I got from B and H again. So, nice. um, got this lens just to test out the autofocus, see if it's really resolved. I've been hearing great things about it ever since the update. So this current lens right here is not updated yet. So it seems like B and H team has not updated this lens. So I'll update it and go ahead and let you guys know if the autofocus is fixed. And package number one. Damn, live unboxing. Here we go. Three packages. Ooh, AirPods. This guy. What? AirPods. Is that for Vivian? That is for Vivian right there. <laughs> they're, just so, they're just so darn handy, you know, the AirPods. Except yeah. right now where our AirPods are not working for the podcast. <laughs> for our potato podcast. Giant box number two. Oh. Hide your address, Jason. Hide your address. Hide your address, Jason. What's that? Is your address visible? Be careful. Oh, shoot. My bad. <laughs> let's, blur, let's blur that out, guys. Oh, Come man. What is this? Like... What? Oh. What? Need another one. Nice. Please. NT USB mics. And giant box right here. Make sure the address is not showing again. <laughs> Hashtag oh, visit Jason. Jason says right now. What's that? They already posted your address. Oh, snaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be invaded. Oh, man. This little rain stand for the MacBook. Oh, so much new gear. Very nice. So much new gear. And. <laughs> An Apple keyboard, Magic Keyboard. Nice. And where, oh. what about the other thing? The coup de gras. See this thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> the reason this is the last show. That is the reason this is def definitively the last show. <laughs> Dan Danny, look what, what you've done, man. Look at all this stuff right here. <laughs> well, yeah. Hashtag new gear. And this cool little thing right here. That we picked up over the weekend. Yeah. Shout out to Vincent for getting this for us. Um, I got mine here. It's this nice little alpha paperweight. For blam. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Vincent. All right, folks. Um, is that it, Jason? Is that all the stuff? Yeah. Hold on. This is not a giant box. I'm just kidding. That's it. <laughs> what about the A7S3? I just got that ready for us. <laughs> all right, folks. We're going to go ahead and jump in the chat and check out what you guys have recently picked up. Let's see here. Again, we're looking at hashtag new gear. If you want us to go ahead and read off uh, what you recently picked up. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. Oscar Acevedo says hashtag APSC not dead. Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate it. Uh, Eric Joshua Clack, New Gear, Manfrotto, Be Free, Sony Alpha Edition. Very yeah. nice. Is that carbon fiber based? Jason? I don't think it's carbon fiber. I don't have a carbon fiber for that version. Got it. Um, Vincent Vegas asking, were you guys... Oh, okay, hey, we'll just read it anyway. Vincent Vegas asking, were you guys friends before YouTube? No. We were enemies. We were enemies. Still enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Homer hashtag APSC is dead. Oh God, it's one point for. Jason. That's right. That's right. Uh, Urban Abode Group says, "Careful what you say." I got the new MacBook Pro 2018 yesterday. Maxed it out. Dead. Return it. Return it. <laughs> 
Dude, four terabytes. That is a monster. Um, Jay San, new gear, MacBook Pro upgraded to the 32 gigs and one terabyte SSD. Comes out to 4,000 bucks. Basically, APSC is dead. <laughs> you need that four terabyte SSD. I, two terabytes is nice, but man. You need that four terabyte, though. <sighs> they get you. They get you on that. Jason, go ahead and read some Furman while I rest my vocal box. <sighs> Joe Mac, Sigma 50 mil 1.4 Canon version, team dead. Are you adapting that for your Sony camera? I assume you're shooting Sony because I don't know why other people would be watching this podcast. Um, Lorraine Freely Kirk, what is the sale price of the Crane 2? I don't know. I think it's like 20% off, though. Whatever 20% off $750 is. Urban Abode Group, was APSC ever alive? You tell me, brother. Simon PR, new gear, A73 with a vertical grip, 24 to 70 G Master, and Wasabi batteries. Very nice. Roberto Lindo, new gear, Godox 82,000. Didn't know that model existed. Tony Pappas, hashtag APSC is dead. Uh, let's see here. Simon PR, APSC is not dead. Force, APSC can't die until I afford a full frame camera and at least one lens to replace my APSC glass. Very cool. This is, okay, so I went ahead and posted a link to a straw poll. And if you click on, if you are able to, if you click on the link, it's going to open up uh, a little straw poll and it's going to ask whether or not you think APSC is dead or APSC is not dead. And we're going to go ahead and check that out later. Um, yeah, so there's a link posted. So if you can check it out and answer, it'd be pretty cool to know. And then we'll show it up on the screen later what the results are at this time. Whoa, I know you can do that. Yeah, Chris Barr just mentioned it. I think it was Chris Barr. Um, let's see here. Can I share my screen? Share really quick. Uh, application window. There we go. Are you able to see it? I, see your, I see your face. Oh, you see my face. Do you your see your face oh, is frozen, though? There's nothing there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says you're presenting to everyone, so I'm not sure if... It's just my screen. Uh oh. Okay, I see your I see your face again. I'm back to my face. Okay, let's do entire screen. There you go. Oh, there you go. Got it. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Get there you go. Racing. What are we watching? I don't know, man. We've got some interesting ads. Here we go. There's our straw poll, guys. Help us out. Check the link down below. Oh my goodness, it is fifty fifty. Jason, are you seeing this? Oh man, fifty fifty. That's crazy. Oh, Folks. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Let's get APC is not dead, guys. Come on now. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's conclusive, Come on, Jason. Guys, APC is dead. You guys know it. <laughs> Another really funny, Jason. Right after the show, they announced that the A6700, and it's like 20 frames per second. You're amazing. <sighs> awesome. Awesome. We're going to go back to that later and we'll um, we'll check it out again before we end the show. OK, so back here, Jason, sorry, I kind of left off on what we're uh, trying to call who your last new gear was. Uh, um, I don't know. Let's see here. Ethan Nobosella, hashtag new gear, Lilliput 7 inch Tascam DR 10 L NBD visuals, new gear aperture M9 H198. No idea what that is. And ALF7 killer portable lights. Very cool. Oscar Acevedo, New Gear, Wacom Tablet, Helios Helios 44. I feel like an idiot because I don't. Whenever I read 44, that I'm not reading it right, am I? I'm not reading it right. You got a Helios lens. And then a Pentax M50mm f1.4 and some extension tubes from Miki. There you go. Very cool. Dave Sincere, I bought the Tether Tools Aeromaster Tether Table, 200 bucks. And then he says, Tether Tools is not cheap. <laughs> and Richard Nowak says, DJI Ronin S for my A7 III. Did you pre-order it early on, or is it still kind of like you're waiting for it to show up? I'm assuming that's the case. Um, let's see. Alejandro says, I watch this, and I'm not a Sony shooter. <laughs> Rick Turner, thanks, guys, for your vids and tutorials all the way from Australia. Rick, hello. Very nice. Boris says he'll be in L.A. this Thursday. Awesome. Should have came last week when Danny was around. 
Um, I also have to buy the tether tool straps. Dave, you dropped your HP Spectre 360 laptop. <laughs> uh, it's still working though, right? Oh man, that's just so bad. Oh man. Good thing I didn't drop this MacBook. I mean, what? Um, anyways. <laughs> uh, Chris Sagana, New Gear Smooth 4, Simon PR, pre-ordered the Atomos 5. Richard Nowak just arrived today, the Ronin S. And Roberto Lindo, hashtag New Gear Godox 8200. Nice. And again, if you are just joining us right now, there is a straw poll going on. We're trying to figure out whether or not APSC is dead or is not dead. There's a survey that we just, I just reposted a link right now in the chat. I would love to know if you think APSC is dead or not dead, because Jason, uh, whether you're on team APSC is dead or APSC is not dead. APSC. Okay, let me see. I am not a robot, and APSC is dead. Oh, you're voting in your uh, in their own poll. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can vote multiple times. How screwed up? Let me just cast another vote. Wow, you can. I mean, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yes, yes. APSC is not dead. Is winning. All right. I think that's going to do it for right now for uh, new gear. Um, so as far as like new things that are going on right now. Uh, so if you guys don't follow uh, Jason or I on, on Instagram, uh, we were in San Diego this past weekend. Um, I was there, what, Friday? And then Jason, Vivian, and Chris came down Saturday, Sunday. And you guys left this morning, right? We all left this morning. Right, yeah. Uh, man, my brain is fried right now, guys. Um, if you don't know, if you don't know me already, um, I, I've, ha I've been dealing with this like sore throat thing for like the last week. Um, like, it just kind of sore in a spot. It's been irritating me. And so I'm having a hard time actually talking a little bit right now today for the show. Um, so I actually went to the doctor. Like basically after he came down. So like I said, we were in, we were in San Diego over the weekend. Um, we had like a planned photo shoot. Uh, we met up with Spencer Pablo uh, for some long exposure photography and then hung out, uh, checked out the George's camera store in San Diego with Vincent. Again, thanks Vincent for showing us around uh, there. Really appreciate that. And um, and then we got the MacBook on Sunday, which we'll get over get to. But I'm telling you, man, my throat's been killing me. And so, but anyway, we left Monday. I left really early in the morning. It was like a four or five hour drive to get back home. And I went straight to the doctor doctor right after I got back home. And so got some antibiotics. Um, hopefully this pain that's in my throat will go away. <laughs> and Francisco just dropped some money. He says pizza on me or medicine for Danny. <laughs> Thanks, Francisco. My copay was $10. I appreciate that. Very nice. <laughs> that, was my, that was my copay for the visit. <laughs> yeah, it was just killer, man. But Danny was in so much pain. Dude, like I couldn't even enjoy the food completely. So we were eating out the Phil's barbecue. I was like, I really, I was, I was enjoying it, but at the same time, I, you would feel this pain down my throat as when the food would go down. That's tough. And oh, it, it progressively got worse, right? Yeah. Like almost every day. Yeah, I think it's it finally got to the point where anything I would, anything now, like so definitely I can't do cold drinks. Um, I have to avoid that, especially the bangs. <laughs> So I'm not going to be drinking that for a while. So I got some hot hot chocolate in here. I was going to do coffee, but I didn't have time. I just got some hot cocoa mix. Uh, but yeah, that's my situation right now. So hopefully I don't I don't I don't get messed up today for the show. <laughs> All right. Wow, man. Okay, Jason. I don't know. Are we, are we just going to jump into that, or um... actually, you know, what I wanted to know. I I know. Like who's in San Diego, and if we if we do like a little meet and greet in San Diego in the future, who's in the area? Uh, we'd be interested in doing one. I did want to let you know, like a Vincent uh, reached out to George's camera and let us know that we have access to their 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 like workshop space there. So if we ever, me and Jason ever decide to do anything, uh, we'll have some space out there to be able to do like a little meet and greet or even a little class or something like that. So definitely appreciate that. Another yeah. from Vincent and and George's camera as well. So. We wanted, um, we wanted to do a meetup this weekend, but we heard Pride, the Pride Parade 
Pride Festival yeah. was going on. So we thought it'd be like pretty. We pretty just weren't sure. Get I guess. I guess it just was. We just weren't sure on the like how busy it was going to be overall in the area. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but next time though, for sure, um, definitely would love to to take advantage of that space and uh, and have some people out there. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, we'll be back very soon. San Diego's nice. It was nice. Really good yeah. weather out there. San Diego's really nice, except when you're in direct sunlight. But when you're in the shade, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, Gabby's saying, get a citrus medicine drink from Starbucks or drink a chamomile tea. <laughs> yeah, my doc, the doctor said to to get some tea or add some uh, some drinks in there. Honey lemon um, tea. See, if you live if you live in my area, plenty of those, plenty of those around. <laughs> uh, let's see, Hector Ramos. Man, some of my old students are in here. They're watching the show. Oh, <laughs> what's going on, Hector? Um. Uh, let's see. Francisco says, if you ordered your Godox lights on Adorama, you can get credited for the difference. Not sure about b &H. I got them from Amazon, Francisco. So I'm just going to roll with it, man. It's ah, sadness. Sadness. I, when I saw that deal pop up, I was like, oh, damn it. But oh, well. If I don't watch it, I won't be hurt by it. That's my logic right now. Wingbird saying San Francisco meetup. Hopefully soon. We'll all just meet up at Kitty's place. <laughs> Tag the shoes asking, am I late? Nah, man, you just got here on time, man. We're about to yeah. start. Let's do it. All right, man, we got, we're going over the MacBook Pro story. You yeah. Should, you should tell it. You should tell it. <laughs> okay. So we went to San Diego over the weekend, and um, I don't – I don't. we had we – had, we had no plans to get the MacBook Pro, the new MacBook Pro 2018. But for whatever reason, Danny was like, <laughs> what was it, Danny? You're like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I told you about the laptop, right? It was it was did I show I showed it to you uh, on that night we got to the Airbnb, right? I showed you on the laptop. OK, so I was showing Jason that I was using my six core laptop and I wanted to know if his laptop was having any lag in Premiere Pro. That was, this is where it all started. I planted this little seed in Jason's brain. Okay. My okay. plan all along. Right. <laughs> um, and so what I did was when I was editing the video for the Sony a 6,000, uh, it was shot. Most of the shots were in 4k, some in 1080p. I was getting a lot of lag in, in my ed when I was editing the video on my brand new Aero 15 X six core GTX 1070 laptop. I'm like, what is going on here? It was really pissing me off. I'm like, I dropped all this money for this laptop and I'm having lag issues in Adobe Premiere Pro. And so then what I did was I, I opened up the task manager to see if the computer was actually leveraging the GPU, the actual graphics processor in the laptop. And when I was looking at it, when I was actually editing on my timeline, it was only using the integrated graphics. So if you don't know, most laptops, I think most, if not all, have integrated graphics built in. Um, and then it has, this one has a discrete GPU in my laptop, but it wouldn't use it. It actually wasn't leveraging it. So I would, so what I did was I tested, I had, I had two 4K, at, at first I had four 4K streams on one 4K timeline and I had them all on there and the computer would lag. It was lagging. It wouldn't actually play it back in real time. And, and then I also just did two 4K streams on a 4K timeline and it was still lagging made sure it was using the GPU acceleration options. It was using CUDA, all that good stuff. And it was still having issues. And so because I was having those problems on my on mine, uh, I went to Jason that day, right? That's when I planted the seed in his mind in Saturday. And I told him, hey, can you check it out on your laptop on his razor to see if he's having the same problem? And what happened, Jason? That was the same thing. It was the same thing exactly what Daniel was saying. Because like when he was saying that, he was like, oh, I'm having an issue with my six-core laptop, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, well, Premiere works just fine on my computer. I never had any issues um, running Premiere or doing any sort of having having any sort of timeline performance or playback or anything like that. So I pulled it up, and Danny was like, do that do that test where you put like four videos on like one single screen. And I did it, and I was like, wow. And we and we we took up the um, we pull up the what the device manager or what is that the performance the uh, task manager the performance task yep. manager and same deal. Uh, my GTX 1060 was not doing anything. Even when we're exporting the the videos, it was. 
barely you know, the, the computer is barely using the, the dedicated graphics card. So, and what, what's weird was that we weren't even playing it back at full resolution. We, even when we tried to drop it down to one eighth um, or one fourth, it struggled to play it. And there was no effects or anything on the actual files. Uh, when I was testing it, I just left it vanilla, just the video clips resized. It was, it was lagging. And that really kind of got the ball rolling. And then obviously the new MacBook Pro was announced and it's already out. And I was telling Jason, what if we got the MacBook Pros <laughs> to test them out? Jason, continue the story, please. My, my throat's killing me. <laughs> okay. So we were like, okay, let's, let's go to the Apple store. And, and I said, okay, Danny, if you get a MacBook Pro, I'll get a MacBook Pro, okay? Because like I was thinking, like we're gonna we're gonna be dropping some big dough, going to the Apple Store, picking up these laptops, just like scratch an itch, just to, like see if yeah. Premiere would run any better or run relatively the same as the as the laptops that we have. I was like, look, Danny, you do it, I'll do it. You know that kind of that kind of deal. So guess what? We went to the Apple Store the next day, and Danny was like, you know what? I am not gonna buy the MacBook Pro. Wait, wait, wait. I think we were all trying to say we were all going to leave with MacBooks, right? That was the plan. Chris Vernon was going to get one. He was gonna right, get okay. One. Right, right, right. So our friend Chris would, would walk out with an iMac Pro. Danny would have walked out with a 13-inch MacBook Pro. I would have walked out with a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And Vivian, my girlfriend, would have walked out with an iPad Pro. You know, all four of us go in, <laughs> pick, get an Apple product by the time when we get out of the store. But guess what? I was the only one. <laughs> who actually kept my word and bought the 15 inch macbook pro you guys should have been there the amount of um what was going through jason's mind i was like jason just fine dude don't do it and it was the back and forth and decision making in it but i i, I egged him on a little bit to go ahead and get it and then <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah just get it man we'll just we're just gonna see what happens we're just gonna see what happens just, just get it man i was like are you gonna get the 13 inch no man i'm not gonna get the 13 inch <laughs> and then what happened is i think um as soon as Jason already bought it, they got his card and everything. Jason was like, I think I think he was in that screw you guys mentality already. Like, man, screw you guys. We were we we went in there with the plan and we were all gonna get something and you didn't even get your MacBook, Danny. And I told Jason, you know what? Screw this, dude. Return the laptop right now. You're not gonna you're gonna keep bringing this up every <laughs> you're never gonna let this go. <laughs> never. I mean, I guess remember that one time with the San Diego and I was the only one who got the Mac. <laughs> Oh man, I was just like, dude, Jason just returned it, man. You're you're gonna give me crap for this for like the next for, forever, man. Forever. I said, I was like, maybe like in five years when Jason's like at half a million subscribers or something like that, he's gonna bring it. Remember that one time, Danny, when we all agreed to get a MacBook and you didn't buy Squad <laughs> Squad on the store. Come on, Danny. Come on. I thought we had I thought we had an agreement. You buy a MacBook, I'll buy a MacBook. Uh, Nobody bought a MacBook. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's, that's the story. And like I said, Jason's gonna bring it up whenever he can. So um I have it right here, man. It's right here. He hasn't opened it yet, right? Oh, oh, it's opened. All right. So I'm gonna put together a, a video uh on this in the next few days. But since you know you guys are here for Monday Live, we like to do previews of the videos that we're about to make. So um we we did a test uh in terms of Adobe Premiere Pro performance on the new 2018 MacBook Pro. This is the uh, six core uh, i7 version. Um, we had the Razer Blade 15. Chris uh, recently bought that one. And I had, I still have, I brought my Razer Blade 14 there. So we did a comparison test between the three laptops. And um, it, it, it just pretty much confirmed it um, for us that Premiere runs still pretty crappy on a MacBook Pro, even though it's six core. Um, but what's what, but what was surprising was both the Razer Blade 15 and the 14, the performance yes. was very similar. That's that was what was interesting, right? So Jason has the previous generation, um, and and Chris had the six core version of the Razer 15, right? The Razer Blade 15, and he got very similar performance on their timeline with with those two models, even though the Razer Blade 15 six core. And Jason's is four core with a 1060. Yeah, his uh, was like a 10, 1080 or 1070, right? 1070 max Q. So it's kind of like a 1060 that's a little faster than the one you have, I would say. So that's way to put it. Right. So playback, uh, like timeline performance, playback. This is a four minute, a two minute 4K video on a 4K timeline 
playback was just very similar to that of my 14 and export time was crazy it was similar almost exactly the same the 14 was a little bit faster but that might have been like you know um we press the space bar uh, uh, uh export that one a little bit faster but that's crazy you know i, I would expect that like performance to be like much faster but it was very very similar I, I really think uh, some of it, it has to do with the software because what we're seeing for sure is that the Adobe software isn't leveraging the GPU as much. And so, you know, I, I really think that's where it kind of boils down to, but, um, but Jason, go ahead and share a little bit of, for the obvious comparisons with the final for the final Cut pro. Oh, it was so much better final cut. We, so we exported the XML of my 4k, my 4k, my two minute 4k uh, project uh, imported to final cut and it performed flawlessly it didn't even choke um and then what we did was we did the uh, four by four test we put uh, four 4k videos uh on the same screen um color effects stabilization effects um what else a gaussian blur effect on each of the videos and immediately the razor of both the 14 and 15 just started choking up they, they they couldn't do it stuttering was so bad it was lagging so bad but on Final Cut on the MacBook Pro 2018, flawless. It just played the entire, it played all four videos back with no issue at all. It was insane. Yeah. And that's the thing. If you are leveraging that, I, that's it. I mean, that's the bottom line. If you're going to get a Mac, you got to really take advantage of Final Cut Pro. Um, so, yeah, that was. I, I we, like we said we knew for a fact that the Mac was not going to perform as well as the uh, other ones in terms of Premiere Pro. But I just wanted to see how far the Mac had came already in terms of its performance, and I think it's with it's okay uh, if you're just going to edit with with Premiere some basic stuff. But for and larger if, projects, if it's 1080p or you're willing to let the computer take some time to create proxy files of your 4K footage, then it's yeah. completely fine. But when you start like editing like huge projects like weddings, then you're gonna really let you're gonna really have to let your computer sit there and go through all that and create all the proxies. Even if you're doing small projects like what Danny and I do, we create yeah. videos on a daily basis. You know, all these small projects, they do add up. And when we need to crank out content really fast, that timeline performance needs to be there for us. Otherwise it's just incredible. It's, it's incredible. frustrating. Like it was yeah. frustrating. I when we were at, when I was editing, I was like it was really pissing me off. It just would stutter or uh, and I just wanted it to run smoothly. And so I even, t I did do a test of just running a proxy. So I have to wait for the proxies to get created in Premiere, which made it easier to work off of, but it's, it's you know, uh, just working quickly. But I hope it's an issue Adobe can re resolve, but uh, maybe someone in the chat knows something we don't know about that, um, that we're not doing right. Cause we even went to the Microsoft store, right? For two. <laughs> yeah, we went to the Microsoft store to like, we, we even asked the guy, I was like, hey, do you know what's wrong with this? And he was like, no clue he thought he knew no. right he was he was convinced it was x y right. and z reason which we already tested and, and we, we were trying to test it you we were trying to test it on one of the razor laptop at the store but it, it didn't work out it was still bad guys yeah i know and, and i'm seeing some comments on the chat right now just like telling us to like um having to go to our nvidia display panel and just selecting the high performance making sure that the computer uses the dedicated gpu for premiere it didn't do jack it didn't it didn't do anything it still utilized more of the integrated graphics over the dedicated graphics yeah absolutely. Rich, king is, rich king is asking were you using the laptops plugged in yes yes we were everything was plugged in. we probably blew a fuse that night but they were plugged in <laughs> Yeah, they, these things have to be plugged in uh, to do any like actual work. Sometimes these Windows laptops, um, or they start choking up real quick. So yes. we got uh, Simon PR saying Razer is gaming PC, not a pro computer. So it's not just my Razer laptop, but it's Danny's Aero laptop as well. And yours is like a professional machine, isn't it? No, bro, it's it's a gaming laptop too. <laughs> ah, case closed. But the thing but. is, <laughs> the, internals, the internals are, you know, they, they all very work similarly in terms of just um, taking advantage of the processing unit and everything for video editing. Um, that's all there. Unless he's talking about getting a professional laptop that has an, uh, a specific, those um, workstation GPUs. Then I understand because the workstation GPUs are tend to have a tendency to work a little bit better with Premiere. They're more optimized for Premiere usually. 
I forget the name. I forgot the name of those workstation GPUs, but I think most some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, let's see here. Well, we can just get into the comments right now, or or yeah, go or, for or, it. Man. I'm, I'm struggling here. Huh? I'm struggling here. Just just go, man. My throat's. <sighs> oh man. Okay. So uh, so pretty much what we're saying is, um, if you are looking to upgrade from a Mac Pro and you're already used to or you're already using Final Cut, then go for it, go for it. But if you are editing Premiere on your MacBook thinking, oh, you know, time performance kind of sucks right now, I'm thinking about upgrading to the six core MacBook, it's it's not gonna solve anything. I think you're still gonna run into um, issues with Premiere Pro. Uh, in terms of Razer, what I'm saying is, uh, between the 14 and 15, they both perform very similar right, uh, similar right now, even though the Razer 15 has the six core and has the uh, a little bit better graphics to it. Um, in terms of um, Premiere performance, it's still roughly the same. Gaming for sure might be a lot different, might be a lot better, but Premiere is still the same performance. Let's see here. Um, Gabby, I don't know which MacBook version you have, but as far as since you just jumped to MacBook, I definitely would look to use Final Cut, especially for more com complex, complex productions that you're making with your videos. Again, only because it takes advantage of it. Uh, and see if you can get any sort of like education discounts if you don't have Final Cut Pro yet. You can get like a really good education discount for uh, all the the all the apps. So um, make sure to look into that if you don't already have it. Yeah, speaking of education discount, I think Apple stores are running educational discounts for the MacBook Pros and you get like a free Beats headphones too. You guys are interested. They should include they should include the AirPods with that deal instead. Nah, they want to give you the Beats. <sighs> yeah, I know. Let's see here. Um ch -ch -ch, iMac Pro. Let's see. T uh Dave Sincere says Team iPad, Team MacBook. I don't own any Apple products. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Varnell says, Final Cut also didn't run hot while doing the test. Yeah, Final Cut barely broke a sweat. It did not get loud at all, whereas the Razer fans just kicked in. And, also, yeah, you, yeah, go ahead. You know, that's, that's a... And also one thing that you'll, they'll see in your video is the audio was very, very good on the MacBook. If you care about audio, playing it back, like... So good. Oh. So good. It's like bassy. The, the 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 sound is just so rich, and then you hear you hear from the Razer Blade 15. It just sounds like garbage. It's like what is it? Hollow tinny? Yeah. Is what, how you guys describe it? Yeah, it's great so tinny. The 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 Razer Blade 14, the laptop I'm using right now, the sound was a little bit better over the 15, which was crazy. But for the best sound, oh, MacBook Pro. But you know, Jason. I know we're trying to jump in in between different topics here, but honestly, the test that you did kind of gave some perspective on the fact that for people who had a four core laptop with a discrete graphics card, really didn't have a reason to upgrade to the six core laptop. Right. There, there really wasn't. And so I'm kind of in that camp where I upgraded to the six core laptop. And now I'm thinking about it when I had, cause I have, I still have my Alienware, um, Alienware laptop. And that thing is just, it worked just fine. And that's why I was really frustrated. That's again, that's the whole reason why this whole thing started was because I was really pissed off. I upgraded to this laptop expecting much better performance. What but I can't even play two streams of 4K on a timeline at a given time, which is really frustrating. So and two streams isn't that bad. So yeah, it's not. And it, it's lagging. I don't understand. I don't get it. It just can't even handle it. So I think it's a premier issue. I'm gonna bank on that for now, but that's the reason why I started looking at the MacBook because of the Final Cut optimization. So also, also don't let what we're saying affect. If you if you have never had an issue with your laptop, just just don't let it bother you, okay? Because because this is what happened with Chris. So <laughs> we we almost got so Chris Vernal, he who was with us uh, over the weekend. He was like he already bought the the Razer Blade Fifteen, the new one, and the he didn't open it anymore because he was looking at returning it because of the new MacBook. And so we were going back and forth over the weekend as whether or not he should keep the Razer Blade 15 or get the new MacBook. So, um, but yeah, if you're already happy with what you've got, yeah, don't don't listen to us at all, man. It's <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, uh, always the MacBook. Tag the shooter says passion for gadgets. FCPX all the way. 
7 PR Final Cut is the best. Hector Ramos, Premier Pro CC have been having import issues. I can't do anything about it until the update comes out. Hector, roll back to 2017 because 2018 has been complete and utter garbage to me. It just it's just not stable. It's not usable at all. I thought it was just maybe my razor, maybe some plugins that I have installed that had issues with it. But I installed 2018 Premiere Pro on the new MacBook Pro. 2018 didn't did not. Nope. <laughs> nope. Just nope. Just nope. Francisco Joel Hernandez. So I have the 2015 MacBook Pro on a custom PC. Should I go with an iMac or a better MacBook? I don't know, man. You had a Final Cut, right? Final Cut on 2015 MacBook works pretty solid. Yeah. Is he using Final? Yeah. Yeah. Francisco, are you using Final Cut? I think he is. Because if he is, I don't think there's anything wrong with going with the new MacBook Pros that just got announced. But um, but if he hasn't had any problems, I wouldn't worry about updating right now. But I think it'd be really nice if you do get the newest MacBook Pro. That would work as a good desktop replacement if he was worried about that. Let's see here. Tag the shooter. I just traded my 16 35 G Master for an upgraded 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro new and a MacBook Air 2017 new. Then rebought the 16 35 because I can't let it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some serious gas right there. Richard Nowak, Jason, what are the specs of your 2018 MacBook Pro? It's the default basic one that you can get on um, at the Apple Store or Apple.com. But it's still 6-core, um, Core i7, 512 gigabytes. No, 256 gigabytes? I don't know. I think it was 512 and... I... Yeah, I don't remember, man. I'm dying here. Keep going, sorry. <laughs> Gabby Castro Music, what about voice recording? I do a lot of voice over work. You can't go wrong with either. Probably go with a Mac. Uh, let's see here. Um, Danny, there's a sore throat tea. You can get it from a health store. A few better. Thank you. All right. I appreciate that. Chris Fernal, speaker shamed my laptop. Jose <laughs> Martinez, DaVinci Resolve is just as fast as FCPX on the 2018 15 inch and utilizes the dedicated, dedicated GPU at 80 to 90%. Oh, snaps. Yeah. And that's why they had that external GPU now. That's out. So um, that's why I've been kind of flirting with the option of grabbing like a 13 inch MacBook Pro and maybe getting the um, that external GPU. So, but yeah. Anyway, I'll put this Zed Pro Media up and rocking the Surface Book 2. Screen is amazing on it. Very nice. Urban Abode Group, my last MacBook Pro was 2009, 2010. It's time, guys. I oh, that's perfect timing. I was just watching I Justine and MPBHD's unboxing of the uh, iBook. <laughs> oh, the iBook? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's ancient, dude. Gabby Castro, I have, um, and I lost your question. Something related to the, I don't know. I lost it. I'm sorry. It's, it's all good, man. Uh, what's recommended for voice recording? I did a lot of my work on PCs for voiceover, but I'm not going Apple gang with them here. I think someone someone recommended something. Audition. Audition or uh, was that? Isn't there like Logic? Doesn't, doesn't Apple have a, a slew of apps for music? I think it's like Logic. Garage. Yeah, it's, there's GarageBand. Garage. Yeah. Right. But for, uh, let's see, GarageBand, Audacity. Audition. I, I do most of my voiceover on Audition. The audition. My base 2017 MacBook Pro can edit Forge in FCP. No problem, Eli. Wait, said. What? Of course. Of course. Let's see. FJH Francisco says, yep, final cut. Photo Mia says, I have a 2012 iMac that handles 4K just fine. My computer in general is just getting old and can't keep up with the new machines. On Premiere or Final Cut? Because I think like I think we just we were just talking about it, right, Danny? I mean, like the old iMacs have like the NVIDIA cards. Yeah, they do. But I think I think if you're just using Final Cut, Final Cut, Apple just does a really good job with optimizing Final Cut. So it's it's really good. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. <sighs> oh, tag the shooters asking what 13 inch Mac that I have. It's like the 2013 model the mid 2013 i think like that i bought it refurbished or used um 16 gigs of ram 
five, 12 gigabyte hard drive or something like that. It's still, still good. I use it um, from time to time. Ancient. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, I'm dying here. Um, We'll keep it short. I mean, we can jump into RX-105 really quick and then Q&A. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or, again, if you want to take our poll whether or not APSC is not dead, right now APSC is in the lead. I'm going to go ahead and post it if you just recently joined us right now. Uh, which uh, <laughs> do you think APSC is dead or not dead? So I just went ahead and posted that poll over again. Uh, but right now we're going to go ahead and jump into our just Q&A segment, and we'll talk a little bit about the RX100 VA or the 5A that was officially now available for pre-order uh, and just kind of talk a little bit about it. Wh who is it for? Why, why does it even exist in the first place? So yeah, Jason, I'm just so glad you sold, you sold your RX 100 Mark five. Okay. Yes. For yes. those of you that don't know, uh, Jason was kind of knew that potentially, obviously we kind of were all expecting a new RX 100 to show up. So Jason sold his Mark five ahead of time. And unfortunately, that Mark Six isn't necessarily hitting all the marks that he kind of wants. I'm just assuming here. I'm speaking for him on his behalf, and so he kind of misses his RX100 Mark Five. Now, Sony decided to release a Sony RX100 5A VA with some updated specs. I guess I don't honestly. I don't even know what they updated. Jason, what? help me I out. Think here. They put in the new processor and everything. Well. To some people, it might be bad because they took out play memories, right? I assume because they put in a new processor, right? It, yeah, that's and true. Saying the play memories app aren't compatible with the new processor they put in on these the C three series cameras or even like the RX one hundred right now, yeah, it's quite a shame. But it's a lot faster, um, read and write, I believe. Right? It has the same processor as the RX one hundred Mark Six. Does it have touchscreen, Danny? Do you know? No, no touch screen. It doesn't, the screen doesn't flip out all the way down like the others, the, the six. And I keep asking myself, what's the point of this camera? <laughs> I really, it doesn't even have like the updated, updated EVF that pops down with one press. So again, it's, I, I, I'm just like, what were they thinking? If you want an RX100 Mark V with the new menu system, then this is perfect. Right? If you don't care much for it, then I don't know why you would want to get the RX100 Mark 5A. It's just weird. So, yeah, I don't know. At least the ND filters are on it. 24 <laughs> to 70 F1.8 to 2.8. Getting all that good stuff with the new processor. So I would say if you've never owned the RX100 Mark 5 and you have a little extra money to spend, go for the 5A. But if you want an RX100 5 with a great autofocus but want to save on a little money, Probably just get the regular RX100 Mark V. Yeah, the R there's nothing wrong with the RX100 Mark V at all. It's yeah. it has that new color science, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. Okay, let's see here. Tag the shooter QB. I don't know what's QB, but are you guys using the USB C cables a lot? I hate the four USB ports on the new Mac. Got to swap them out. And damn, no SD reader built in. Yeah, what's frustrating about my Razer laptop is that it also doesn't have an SD card reader. So um, thank goodness I only have one USB port, four USB uh, three on, no, only three, my bad, only three on my Razer. So, I mean, it's not bad um, because I have the USB-C, but for the Apple, it's kind of tough. You need the dongles. That's that's the reason why I went with, for those who are wondering, like I went with my Aero 15X laptop, the updated specs. It has a UHS-2 card reader, so I'm able to transfer files very quickly onto there. I was able to expand. It has a second M.2 slot, so I have a 512 gigabyte NVMe and a 2 terabyte M.2 SSD. So if I really, I really wanted to, I can get in another 2 terabyte M.2 in here to have 4 terabytes of solid state storage or even NVMe storage. Um, still cheaper than what the MacBook would offer. But again, that's one of those issues of you're buying Apple for Apple and their ecosystem. Um, but I, I have one USB type C cable. I don't use it often because I still have a lot of regular USB uh, products. So um, 
I don't have a lot of USB Type C cables, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's because of um, it's because of these dongles. I would probably prefer to get like a one terabyte or two terabyte computer right off the bat. It's just easier to store the files instead of having to bring a hard drive and like having to right? worry about having USB C cable. Jason, I, I'm like, why do they even offer 256 gigabyte? It's it, it's such it's like a I don't even know how to explain it. You're offering two like 256 gigabyte SSD on a pro laptop at this point. I'm just like I, I can't understand it. I can't understand it. You you have to get at least the one terabyte. Like I think that's a like a minimum. I would imagine if you're doing video editing. Oh, Even yeah. because if you are using Final Cut, it does generate proxies and it has to store that stuff somewhere. Um, but I just wish the solid state prices would drop. But that, that's where that's where Apple gets their money right there. It's a solid state. So very cool. Uh, Dan, you know, APSC is niche, not dead. Mike Homner, <laughs> bang, best bang for uh, best bang for the buck tripod. Probably want to go with uh, Manfrotto Be Free. We we're talking about video tripods. Pretty good one right there. Regular tripod, I think, is also pretty good as well. It's also like Me Photo and stuff like that, depending on what you need or travel wise. Uh, let's see here. Passion for Gadget, my FS7 II and 5 II got APSC. Love the footage from them. Nice. Lorraine Freely Kirk, what gimbal and lens would you recommend for the A6000? You can probably sh you should look into the Crane V2. There's a bit of a discount right now on Amazon. Crane V2 or Crane M for the A6000. For gimbal lens, I would say the Sigma. Uh, sorry, what is it? The Sigma. Yeah, Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4. That's a pretty good one. Fathom Rocker, this show is making me broke. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Her Salito. I hated the new lens on the RX100 Mark VI. I do prefer a fast lens than a longer zoom. I think the RX105 A was intended for us. Ha ha ha. Yep. I agree, but it, it just didn't like do anything. I, I really feel like it's just a software change. There wasn't anything hardware wise on the on the surface of it. Uh, Chris Barr says Puget Systems that build workstations uh, recommend 64 gigs of RAM. Six years of VRAM for 4K video editing and timeline scrubbing. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've obsessed over those uh, tests. They're really good. Puget Systems is really good about um, explaining their tests and the gear that they're using. But they don't really test laptops. They, they do tests like builds that they do, um, which is really good info, though. Uh, let's see here. Simon PR, QA, best SD card for A7 III. You can look into the Sony M-series card or a SanDisk extreme pro cards those are two cards i use works great for me i would say if you want fast transfer speeds the m series is really great for the price point the g series is really expensive and then like jason said the sandus extreme pro is a really just good budget now the prices have dropped so much for those so oh yeah uh, if you're not worried about transfer speeds on your computer just if you don't if you're not if you don't care much for uhs2 speed transfers just get the sandus extreme pro tag the shooter did you grab anything from amazon prime got the sandisk one terabyte for one ninety nine, since that is, since my MacBook only has two fifty six, that's oh, a good deal. Shit, man. it's a good deal. Cause like if you're comparing uh, it with the uh, Samsung T five one terabyte, that's three hundred fifty bucks. One hundred ninety nine for a one terabyte SSD Sandisk is pretty good. Though I've not used it. Passion for Gadget, what sucks about the new MacBook Pro is USB-C only. Had to spend 500 more to make it work with my Pegasus TV2 RAID and OWC Thunder Bay RAID drives. Lorraine, wish they would bring back the hot shoe on the RX100 cameras. Am I the only one who feels this way? That actually came up when I was talking to my brother about it because I think the first model or the second model had the, the hot shoe. Um, could you imagine using off-camera lighting with your RX100? That'd be intense, right? That'd be pretty cool. Um, DJ DJ LSB vapes. I just dropped the money on the MacBook Pro i9 today. What sold me was the benchmark. Double my iMac. Insane. Ah, uh, MacBook Pro. Wingbert. I've been staring at the rocket blower. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad habit of mine. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, Joshua Mooneyham, APSC is not dead, but dead to me. <laughs> Any more thoughts on the Sigma 35 1.4 versus Zeiss 35 1.4? Still stands. If you're a hybrid shooter, 35 1.4 from Zeiss. If you're just shooting photos, 35 1.4 from Sigma. And actually, I've been getting a lot of comments about the Rockin' On 35 1.4. A lot of people have been saying really good things about it. I haven't had a chance to test it out yet, so I'm not too quite sure. Um, about the performance of that lens. Maybe I'll try to do that someday. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. If Francisco Joao Hernandez, Hernandez, anyone else like the color black and wish they could get a cheaper, like $5,000 iMac? Apple knows what they're doing, offering that only at a high-end price. Maybe you can get it painted, Francisco. I'm not sure. Get a skin from D-Brand. <laughs> Urban Abode Group, what's the best 14 mil or 16 mil prime lens on the market that works with Sony's autofocus video system? Um, full frame, best one is 18 millimeter bodice right now, in my opinion. If not, the Sigma 16 for APC works fine. Except that's a 24 millimeter equivalent. Just depends on what, they, what they're using. Yeah. Because APC is not dead. <laughs> Y'all better vote. APSC is dead. Um, Richard, any recommendations for online FCPX courses? Not that, not, not, not that I can personally recommend for Premiere. I do have some that I can recommend, but not for Final Cut, unfortunately. If anyone knows anything, let us know. Sue Richardson, do you have a recommendation for a nice super telephoto lens for wildlife photography without breaking the bank? Sony a6000. You know, um, Sue, I haven't had the chance to do a test with the a6000 with the with the um, the Sigma 150 to 600. There is a 150 to 600 that's I think like $1,200 or something like that. And I think with the Sigma MC11, you can still get decent performance for it. But that gives you a crap ton of reach, though. So I don't know if anyone's had experience with that. Maybe check out some Facebook groups, like Sony a6000 Facebook groups that might have tried that combo. Um, but I personally haven't had a chance to use it. That's that would be a really great bang for buck for wildlife, in my opinion. But the the Sigma one fifty to six hundred, and an adapter, Sigma MC eleven adapter. Tag the shooter. APSC is not dead. Anyone want to buy it? six thousand sixty three or sixty five hundred? <laughs> Hit them up. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Vincent Vega, you need to put that rocket blower in your bag so I don't have to clean your sensor again. It was in my bag. <laughs> There's only so much that this thing can do. You really, you really uh, got to wipe it down with something. It's this thing. It was dust, man. It gets sticky. I mean, Vincent can get me roasted, man. I, when we went to the to the store. <laughs> you haven't gotten your cameras clean in so long. Yeah, I my A7R three had never been cleaned. The sensor had never been cleaned since I got it. Because I think when... Like the last time I really got anything clean was when we went to New York and I got like my A9 there cleaned or whatever. But I didn't hand off my, or in Vegas, I didn't hand off my A7R3 because I was using it. So my A7R3 never got clean. But uh, thanks, Vincent, for getting my A7R3 sensor cleaned. I really appreciate it. Awesome, man. I think we're caught up with the questions. All right. With one minute to spare, guys. One minute to spare, to spare my, my aching throat. Yeah, so we're we're keeping we're keeping it a little short, well, shorter than usual because we usually go past the hour mark. But uh, yeah. awesome. I mean, uh, next week is going to be the show is going to be on my channel, so we'll see you guys uh, then. Uh, other than that, uh, as for me, I got a couple videos coming out. I'll be comparing the Sigma Fifty Art with the Zeiss Fifty Art, and then I'll be putting out the video on the MacBook Pro Twenty Eighteen versus Razer Fifteen versus Razer Fourteen. And Danny's probably going to be out of commission for the rest of the month. So <laughs> it's so fr it's so frustrating just talking right now. It just hurts. Ugh. Um, yeah, that that stinks. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. I I have some videos that I want to get done, but I have to talk in them, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there's some videos on the pipe. I still got to do my comparison with the eighty fives and. Some APSC video. There was actually a video for the the APSC zooms I was supposed to finish off, but I don't think I'm going to make it as elaborate that I wanted it to. I'm probably just going to go ahead and just kind of talk it through and, and explain why I would choose which uh, zoom lens kit for that situation. But but anyway, that's going to do it for me on this side of things. And Jason, thanks again for Show the results before we go. 
Uh, Which result? Oh shoot, you are right. Before right. we go, let's let's just all see. Right. Let's just see. So, um, so before you guys all take off, here we go. The final result for the straw poll. Um, obviously, you guys can actually click on the link and see. But let's go ahead and show it on the show screen share. Here we go. There we go. Boom. APSC is not dead. Oh, come on, guys. Come <laughs> on. We still have a lot of 6,000 shooters out there, huh? Yep. Still going to rock the shirt. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for participating in that straw poll. Even though you voted 10 times, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next week. See you later. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, check out other content. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace. Oh, crap. Hang on. Hang on. Stop, bro.